Can I show you a real quick magic trick? A magic trick? Check this out. Do you believe I can print this card out of my phone, pull the card off the screen and give it to you? I have nothing in this hand and nothing in this hand. But I'm going to give you this card. Right. Are you ready? To you. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, shit. Let me show you another oh, trick. Shit. Read the triangles out loud. Now, make sure he's reading it correctly. Read it out loud. Paris is in the spring. Bird in the hand. Once in a lifetime. Did he read it correctly? Yeah. He got them all wrong. Yeah. First one says Paris in the, the spring. Oh. The Bird in the, the, the hand. Once in a, a lifetime. That was there the whole no, time. Just, I didn't even switch it on you. Oh, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Let me show you another trick. <laughs> Are you a good person? No. No? no. I'm a great person. No, he you're... Good okay. Person. Let's put him on the stand, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me give you a test. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. So what are you? A liar. Okay. Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you, ever? Candy, an answer from somebody? Yeah, yeah. What do you call people who steal? Cheaters. A thief. A thief. So, what are you? A thief. You're a lying thief. Oh, shit. Have you ever uh, been punished by your parents? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. So, by your admission, you're a, li yeah, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, rebellious. Is that a good person? No, I'm a bad kid, bro. If you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Innocent until proven guilty type. No, innocent. God knows all the evidence. See, nah, he said, you shall not, not lie. Not Based on that one, you're already guilty, right? I have repented. Do you think repentance is what cancels out your sin? I hope. It doesn't. Let me show you. Is this your friend right here? Yeah. Hypothetically, let's say a horrible person murders your friend. Yeah. He gets arrested. He's on trial. The judge sentences him to life. And he tells the judge, hey, you don't have to send me to jail. I repented. Is that going to get him out of jail? Hell no. Doesn't work. Everybody repents when they're in trouble. Okay? Hold on. I, I have good news. Okay? okay? So you are headed for hell, but there's a way not to go to hell. What did God do for you so you could be forgiven? What'd you say? He died for our sins. That's right. Talking about Jesus, right? Did he stay dead? I came back. Really. On the third day, he came back, right? Yeah. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? No. Nope. Who goes to heaven? <laughs> if that's true, he's not going. Probably not even no, you. Probably not me, no. Because that's you said no, you're I not know, a good I person. <laughs> okay? Yeah. So that's the wrong answer. Any, any other ideas of who goes to heaven? God's children. How do you become God's children? I have no idea. I'm going to tell you, okay? I'm not going to keep you in suspense. Yeah. Jesus said... He who believes in me has everlasting life. How do you go to heaven? Believe in everlasting life? Jesus said, oh, he, who, he who believes in me oh, I believe has, in. Yeah. has everlasting life. What do you got to do? Believe in me. Who's the him? God. Jesus. God is a trinity. Jesus. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Only one of them died for you on the cross. Which one? Jesus. That's right. What's your first name? Parker. Parker? Yeah. I'm going to put your name in John 3.16, okay? It's going to clarify it. For God so loved Parker that he gave Jesus, that he gave his only begotten son, that if Parker would believe in Jesus, he won't have to go to hell, but he can go to heaven, okay? So what do you got to do? Believe in Jesus, right? Faith in Jesus as you turn away from sin, as you repent, is how you're saved, okay? Seriously, had you guys died yesterday, where would you have gone? Hell, right? Let me ask you this. I just shared with you the information from the Bible called the Gospel. It's the good news of what Jesus did for us. Do you believe that message, that Jesus died for you, rose again, and you're trusting in Him for salvation? Are you ready to lay down your old life, pick up your cross, and follow Jesus? But you didn't even know how to go to heaven. You weren't even a Christian. You were right about that. Yeah. I go to church every Sunday, though. Do you know how many people in church aren't going to heaven? That's a scary thought, right? Here's, here's what you should do. Go to church and just randomly ask your friends, hey, can you tell me how to go to heaven? And watch all the wrong answers. Wrong answers include be a good person, pray, be baptized, right? I don't know, go to church. Those are all wrong answers. It's repent of your sins and believe in Jesus because he died on the cross. He paid the penalties for my sins. That's the right answer, right? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That's 1631.
Are you guys ready now to make a true profession of faith to Jesus now that you know the gospel? Are you ready? I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. Your first name? David. David, your first name again? Parker. Parker? Caleb. Caleb. Can I ask you four questions and then pray for you to receive Jesus right here in the mall? Do you agree that you sinned against God? Yes. Do you agree that Jesus died for you on the cross, paid the penalties? Yes. Do you believe he rose again on the third day? Yes. Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please receive these three young men into your kingdom? They just heard the gospel. Would you please make the gospel real to them? Save them by the power of Jesus' blood. Fill them with the Holy Spirit so they are completely renewed and still continue to be renewed for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, guys, if you truly are saved, you're going to change. The old you's got to keep dying. The Holy Spirit's got to keep changing you into a new man, okay? My name is Tony. I'm going to give you something with my contact information on there, okay? My email's in here, okay? Have any questions? Email me. You guys already go to church? Yeah. What's the name of your church? Is it a Christian church or a Catholic? It's a weird name for a Christian church. Okay. What denomination is it? It's okay. Now, do you know why I asked that? Let me show you something right here, okay? In case it is a Catholic church, read this gray box out loud. It's very short. Read that out loud. For by grace you have been saved through faith in that not yourselves. It is a gift of, it is the gift of God, not, to, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Okay. So how are you saved? By... Grace, oh, by grace through God. faith. Oh, by how grace is it? Faith. How is it not? What does it not involve? Your, your works, okay. not of works, right? You can't earn it. But the Catholic Church disagrees with the Bible. Go to, make sure you go to a Christian church that believes you're saved by grace through faith in Jesus alone, without your works. The works come after you're saved. When God changes you into a new person, you do new things. Thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too.